Hello there, and that's Mawa here, and I got another list of Rune Terra video for you guys today. And today we're going with day two of the Kennen Fever, as we're gonna feature Kennen yet again. For the first time on my channel, actually, with the release of new expansion, I cover the same champion, or the same new champion, rather, back to back, instead of giving the limelight to the others. And I will eventually get to them, don't worry, there will not be a third Kennen video in a row. I'm gonna start venturing into the other ones, but I really wanted to showcase this deck because honestly, I'm very fond of Ninja Pikachu. I pronounced that really weird. Ninja Pikachu, there we go. <laughs> like what the, sometimes my English is very uh, bizarre, but yeah, Ninja Pikachu is really, really neat. I really like Kennen's design and in a way he's like the antithesis of Yordle Explorer for me. So as much as I hate Yordle Explorer, I love Kennen and I want to show him in another deck that I think is going to be very interesting and potentially even metagame defining as people are really hyping it up. I played it earlier yesterday as I was very inspired by a list created by G Day Maverick, who is a fellow streamer and content creator for the game. And I really like the concept. It's a deck that seems a little bit bizarre at first, but once you look into it carefully, it's actually really, really intriguing and interesting and honestly very hard probably one of the easily like one of the e the hardest decks to play in Legends of Runeterra so keep that in mind but if you're up for a challenge and, and you like you know to be a bit of a masochist or your own brain and actually have to use it in a card game then this may be the deck for you because we're going to feature a deck that you would initially think well this is a mixture of Ionia and PNZ but the only Piltover and Zarn card that we have in the deck is our champion Ezreal everything else in the deck is Ionia because we want to guarantee the allegiance proc from King Ku Wayfinder because as you can see King Ku Wayfinder works really well with Kennen because we can summon two Kennens from our deck and that actually has tremendous value because every single Kennen that gets summoned will generate a Mark of the Storm in hand and it'll promote our level up for Kennen that much quicker as well. Also, it's important to note that because Kennen's signature spell is so low cost and also helps us recalling other Kennens as well, we can effectively create more Kennens in our deck by planning his Lightning Rush and enabling a second and even potentially a third Kinku Wayfinder in the same game, which is pretty wild because this deck is essentially a slow burn deck. And what I mean by that is that it's a deck that tries to stall out the game a little bit early on until you build up the win condition in Ezreal, and then you just start blasting again and again and again until their nexus goes down to zero. How do we do that? Because if you look at the deck and the spells, how do we even level up Ezreal to begin with, right? Because Ezreal requires spells to target enemies or not spells, just things to target enemies in general, right? And uh, recall targets allies, you know, return retreat the same. Uh, Sonic Wave is also for allies. Twin Disciplines is also for our allies. Uh, we have Monastery of Hirana giving us Sanctuaries, which also recalls allies. The only cards that really promote Ezreal's level up are Concussive Palm and Homecoming. That seems highly inefficient, right? But the thing is, we only need one card to level up Ezreal, and that is your boy Kennen, because Mark of the Storm does target enemies and this is how not only are we going to level up Ezreal but how we're going to start blasting in the late game with Ezreal once leveled up because this will translate into a two damage uh spell towards the enemy nexus for zero mana because we're targeting and when Ezreal is leveled up when we uh, play a spell that targets an enemy it deals two to the enemy nexus instead of one so we go turbo on him we go turbo on him, it's absolutely glorious, and it's uh, actually really tricky to pilot, especially if you're facing good players, and depending on the matchup as well, you know, there, there are certain weaknesses that can have, like fearsome units, because we do rely heavily on the Eye of the Dragon to provide us with good defense, you know, these walls of Dragonlings with lifesteal to keep us alive in the meanwhile, as Kennen as well is helping us picking off the board little by little, by going to, uh, with each pair of Mark of the Storm, we'll be able to deal two damage to a unit, and uh, that can, you know, alleviate a little bit of pressure, right? As all, all of our recall effects are ideally going to be targeting Kennen because we want to level him up by summoning him five times. Because from that point onwards, once we have these Kinku Wayfinders and we're getting these multiple Kennens on the board, every time they attack, they just spawn all these Mark of the Storms and it just gets wild, man. Like you have Ezreal on the board and it just gets absolutely insane and it is... It is a treat to play and to watch, and it's just it's just amazing. It's the reason why I I really wanted to show these this this deck 
I can't even talk. Like, I like this deck so much that I can't even talk. Like, I really want to showcase this deck, even though I have other champions that I haven't, uh, you know, showed on the channel yet. But man, it's just, I, I, I really, really like it. We have a one-off of Sanin Thousand Tailed, which uh, when Summon draws two cards and gives all other allies plus one, plus one, can actually work well with the Dragonlings and uh, a pretty developed Boar State, while giving us extra fuel, because this deck can run a little bit out of gas, which is important considering that Deep Meditation cannot draw us into our champions, uh, which is uh, a bummer, right? Because we're only drawing spells with this. So the combination of Sanin uh, and Shadow Assassin, which can mix really well with God Willow Seedling, can allow us to refill in that sense. But this card is mainly there to recall Cannon, because we get to spawn Cannon again, and then we get to recall the Ephemeral Cannon, taking away the Ephemeral track from him, and thus generating more copies of Cannon that can be put onto the deck through the signature spell to enable, like I said, the Kunku Wayfinder to get more value through the game. We have a one-off of Monastery of Hirana. You know, I played this before it was even cool. I played this day one of the expansion with Cannon when people were laughing at me about it, and now people are playing it all the place so i'm gonna go ahead and shamelessly take credit for it <laughs> and just call it a day with that we can use this to recall our cannons and also to, re to recycle our concussive palms we have homecoming which can be really good this deck is far from optimized uh, i just want to end the deck tech on that like it's my first take on it it's heavily inspired by g-day Ma mavericks version and i do feel like there's a lot of uh, optimization to be made i'm not completely sold on for example claws of the dragon and i feel like some distributions can be changed here and there i feel like homecoming perhaps is more important than i'm giving it credit for and should be a two of or even a three of in the deck uh, there is definitely an argument for that and uh, i do have a strong stance on sonic wave being a little bit overrated in this specific deck so i i personally run it as a one-off maybe nopify could just be a one-off as well there's a lot of different things that you can try to tweak this deck and try to make it better and uh, only through playing multiple games and experience you'll be able to to upgrade it little by little and eventually, I guess the community will have an idea as to what the most efficient variant of this sort of archetype is. But until then, this is a good start and I really enjoyed playing it. And I think I got some really sick games for you guys today. You know, some long games, but really, really uh, epic and tight ones. And uh, I'm proud to share. So I'm going to end my, you know, ramble right there. And hopefully you guys enjoy the content. So that's all I'm going to say. Have a solid day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for regular Legends of Runeterra content. Hope you enjoy the games. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's see how we face against testosterone, the deck. Rickrolling yourself, that's peak Rickroll. I, I never, I never designed, like my mods do some weird shit with like commands. Like I actually, I actually did not make that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, important to know. Like, hard. I mean, we have a Kinku Wayfinder. We have a Kinku Wayfinder, so I think we just keep the other dragon, the Kinku Wayfinder. Yeah, like we don't need to hard mulligan for for Kennen when we have the four drop instead, and we have a good two drop here in either dragon. That can allow us to you know buy a little bit of time. No, nothing to worry, like, for me challenging this. Nothing that I think of, right? Yeah. This faded keyword is uh, pretty good. In my opinion, to be honest, just saying. It's pretty good. But we're facing a, a, a region with, with sharp sight, so... Prioritizing Ezra here is a mistake, I feel. Let's go with you. Silent, Silent as death. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bro, bro, I can, I can smell that sharp sight from like four miles away. And I, I'm European, so I don't know what a fucking mile is, but I know it's a distance and it's relatively long and I can smell from it. Mm. Let's you. First step the hardest. Not grappler, baby. Not grappler. Fuck yeah. They will know. I am ready. Hey, ready. That's how you sound. Hey, ready. It will be done. Hmm. I could bait him here. I could, I could, I could send a debate of a lifetime. 
the bait of a lifetime. So I'm gonna block with the Eye of the Dragon, because I'm gonna encourage him to buff, you know, Mr. Beard Man here. I mean, both of them are Beard Men, but, you know, uh, Ginger. Ginger Beard. So Ginger Beard can get a buff here. Come on, you know you want to. Ah. Are you realizing? Nah, come on, just just don't, don't overthink it, just don't overthink it. There you go, good job, my boy. One man of recon. Because now you're wide open and you have one mana, sir. Wide open. That's what I wanted. Oh, I didn't even think about you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hello there. That n nice to see you. Totally did not forget about you. Get the fuck out of here. Together, Together. forever apart. Show me another boost. Pill Cascade. Fast. Oh. 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 Beautiful. I'm gonna knock that out. We're boost. We we take away that. He gets the boost there, but we play Cannon again. Oh wait, he got the... Wait. No, 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 that's not how that, that should work. No, you, you should still have the mark. You you got the Bastion. That, that That's a bug, that's a bug. That has to be a bug. You should still be marked. That has to be a bug. That level up is so disturbing. I disagree. I love it. They hesitate, but we will strike. And look at that, boys. He's online. It's time. You know, he comes. He, he's. It is like the beginning of an anime arc in high school. You know, he's kind of a bit cheesy and corny and stuff. And now, and here's when he becomes a hero. It's time. It's time for our, I, I wouldn't say main character. Kennen is as much, you know, they're, they're like, like double dragon. I am ready. 
Time for the older bro to come in. I go. I am ready. All right. I think I don't know. I'm. I think it's time we check him out. So anyways, I started blasting. Single combat, we still survive with the twin disciplines, so we go like this. I want to let my boy Cannon live because I love him. I won't let that big, mean, bearded man hurt you, buddy. when I win. Alright, let's see if we can play a little bit better this time. Um, I don't mind the Kinku Wayfinder. I'm gonna mulligan away everything else. Though. No, I could keep the Concussive. Concussive Palm is really important this matchup, no matter how you look at it. Double Kinku, not ideal. A bit risky to, to take that route, but it's fine. It's, it, it just feels, it's such a strong play that it's, it's worth it. It's worth like ending up with results like this. We have the win condition in Ezreal. So we have a, a bit of our later components here. Hopefully we can find some some earlier tools. There's the homecoming. Great time to test it as well. Nopify would have been nice as well. No, that's not great. Not being able to answer that feels bad. But then again, I may resort to because of Palm if, if he just open attacks with that. Split homecoming and Palm in two and two of since they're pretty equal in power level. I'm not sure I'm ready to follow you there, because Concussive Palm is, is more reliable. I don't need a board for Concussive Palm to go through. In fact, I can resort to it here. I like it here, because it also gives me a target for my homecoming. And I deny the gem, man, and that matters. That contributes towards Pantheon's level up, and... It matters. This goes to the draw. Is that a bit of a slow start as well? All right. Remember, we're not grappler. First step's the hardest. Very nice. And now we're able to clear this, which is really neat. That's a bit too thick for us. But a good stat line, huh? We go one and one in case he has like a single combat, for example. But getting rid of their mountain goat is actually huge. That's a that 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 thing giving him gems is is a problem. Okay, never mind. I got ahead of myself. I could bluff now. I'm gonna bluff. I'm like, hey, I may have a Twin Disciplines. Really? Really now? Bro, what if I have a Twin Disciplines and I clear this? It, that damage is important though, because our air is real win condition. Needs it. Thank you, Fast 
This twin discipline is really important. I should have blocked with you here. That was my mistake. That was my mistake, for sure. Yeah, see, like, there's so many, there's so many little details, man. I should have blocked with this, just in case he had a buff there. Because I, I was considering a single combat, but I forget to mention the buff. Okay, so we shuffled the cannon back, which means we should have two cannons at this point, because we haven't drawn a single cannon. So that means... I have mastered the rain, lightning, and cloud styles. We can Kinku again, right? Yeah! Let's mark that. Man, this 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 archetype is so compelling. Ah! Bad draw, bad draw, bad draw, bad draw, bad draw. Bad draw. This is a really hard deck to play, man. But I love it because of that. Already like homecoming. Extra hands never hurt. Zap him. If I stun you here, he kills me here. I still get to attack with three. Got him. Got him. I, I was thinking about how the, the best approach to push damage was there. I serve the king. 
they could not hope to There's win. There's even an argument for passing. There's even an argument for passing there. God, this deck is so deep. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Alright, rumble time. So I, I can't hover over this guy, right? Because the, the game crashes, correct? Full mulligan for Kennen. Oh, sorry, girl. I don't care. Of course, expeditions lead to acquisitions. This, this is me. This is this, this is literally like when when I saw this card. This this was just literally me, just containing my anger and doing a terrible job at it. Oh, I thought I passed. <laughs> well, I played some mind games with him. Ah, there's my boy. Hmm. Yeah, how about we kill that fucker? I have studied every fighting manual. Me too. I, I used to watch Submissions 101 on YouTube. Let the commerce commence. I just, I just, I really, I really want to understand. I really, 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 really want to try and understand. In all things. What were they thinking? When, like, just somebody, like, somebody please just, I need someone in the chat, all right? There has to be somebody who can explain to me what kind of glue they were sniffing when they decided to make this a Yordle as well? When the- not even the fucking Battlesmith is an Elite! Like, why? Please, just tell me why. Like, holy shit, dude. This expansion would be so neat if it wasn't for this fucking shit. Like, oh, I can't kill this! Let's turn up the heat. I can't kill this now! As Quick attack and uh, impact. Spell shield, okay. What did you discard, by the way? Lost soul and a Yordle captain. That's an expensive rumble. That's a lot of rumbling. Hopefully, you, hopefully you're happy with that. Unless he has a group shot. I get to pop the spell shield. Simple. Extra hands never hurt. I forgot I forgot to do the not grappler ritual and I thought I fucked up for a second. Me? Of this guy? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm over it. Oh boy, here we go. A million stats for like three mana from now on. It's gonna be fantastic. Love it. Love it.
Oh boy. It's funny, I thought I was facing like a Rumble Draven deck. I, I, I didn't realize it was just Yordles. Alright. I have the best job. Just do your best, okay? Let's do this. Yes, sir. That's fine. Yeah, that's that, that that's a good attack. No, 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 what are you doing? No, just just attack with her. What a bad player. Axis coming right up. <sighs> Fucking noobs. Damn. I just want to kill this fucker, man. I really, really do. Maybe I can't afford to, though. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. I, I, I misplayed this guy, but I really want to kill you, so... Maybe the stats aren't really that important now, it's more important. Maybe I should have blocked into that. Put a Brazil yeah, probably blocked wrong there. I need to keep track of my cannons, give me a moment. Alright, so I played, I played cannon here. And then I played the Kinku Wayfinder, but after shuffling one, so it counts as, as, as zero. Okay, so I have three in the deck, I have one in the deck. I have one in the deck, now I have two in the deck. Waiting for the right moment? Yes. Hopefully no ravenous flock. Point. They don't have any more Yordles in hand. But there's another Mecha Yordle in there, so... One card left in his hand, which is why I want to keep this Nova 5 because it could be another Draven. I know this is a Mecha Yordle. I'm pretty sure this is not generated. Maybe he did generate another Mecha Yordle without me realizing. No, right? He hasn't played anymore. He hasn't manifested anymore. Okay. Beat. 
Draven card. Okay. Now we can pick off Draven. We keep our we keep our cannons on the board, we enable the deep meditation, and the moment we draw into Ezreal, we're good to go. Imagine Ezreal on the board with these cannons. Let's zap that down. He's very low on gas. Well, we're just getting started. Another, another, another Mecha Yordo, all right? But no, no more engines on the board. Like none. We actually, we actually managed to deal with all three. For for a deck that has no interaction, just so you, just so you understand, like Kennen, in this deck, Kennen single-handedly allowed us to kill three beefy engines. Palm and retreat, beautiful. Just need to send that deck to find our hero. Our hero academia. This one feels pretty underwhelming. <laughs> um Do I do I play Kennen? I can recall this to start. No, but Let's pass. It's the other Mecha Yordo. He's, right. He's running out of gas. As long as we can take on these attacks, we good. I could, I could just get more cannons in there. Sky's the limit. Let's see what he challenges. Tracks that in. Naturally, we want to dive you in here. Five, six, seven, eight, potentially nine, ten. Okay. Ezreal, my boy, where where you at? It's a great block for us. We've got these twin disciplines that allow us to use cannon as a force. There we go. Health back here. That remove the spell shield. Rio, where are you at? Now we can block with this one since we have another one in hand. We have one cannon on the. No, do we have one cannon on the deck? We took two out. I mean, since we played the Kinku Wayfinder. I have to play reactive with the Lightning Rush. 
This deck is very, it, it's very much about waiting what your opponent does. You can't, you can't jump in and, and just, you know, use a bunch of shit. Oh no, is that Yordles in arms? Okay, no, what? He actually plays that, that's funny. Oh, that's a good Nobify target if I ever saw one. That is a good Nobify target. Alright, come at me, bro. I wanna, I wanna fool him into committing the, uh, the axes, but he didn't do that. Monastery of Verona. Attack here. Need an Ezreal. Can I draw into? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. It took you forever, my boy. Good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. 
Maybe I should have attacked first. But no, I want to bounce. That's why I did this, because I want to bounce. No, this was a mistake, wasn't it? I think I... Did I choke? Did I choke? I think I choked. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. I may have choked. It is time. Take it off. Personal space invaded. No kidding. Targeting. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think I threw it towards the end, but I, I think there's still a way out of it, but... There should be at least... There should be one cannon. Eyes open. Watch your branches. So this is the way out of it. I could have also stunned the elusive. Ha 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 ha!